Kavango West Regional Council had appointed two contractors to construct the Boys and Girls Hostel last year. The contracts were awarded in March last year and the hostels were expected to be completed in April this year. Pasi Haingura, who was the CRO then for Kavango West Region, informed the NBC News that the council staff members gave the instructions to the contractors without following the procurement process of using a variation order. Aingura attributed the delay to the omission of the supervisor's rooms in the initial drawings. He said the two contractors were only given a verbal instruction to the rooms, one at each hostel block. The contractors invoiced the council for additional work as a result, but which Haingura refused to approve before getting the reports from all those who were involved in the authorized transaction. He said an internal disciplinary process will be instituted against such staff members. Learners who stay far from the school are accommodated at houses where they pay $350 per month. The school board chairperson Hamutenya Marques Hamutenya is pleading with the council to resolve the matter without delay. As the hostel also zaskama, as kapsi motwas ndindire. We have learners that walk for 10 to 15 kilometers to school. These learners thought they were going to be in a hostel by now. But because the hostel is incomplete, the learners are forced to stay in houses of strangers and they are being asked to pay per month this money. The parents cannot afford either way, even if the parents can afford this, are children and they are not in good care. You get some that go clapping freely because they are on their own and they can do whatever they want. The school accommodates more than 900 learners as opposed to the 336 capacity. The contractors are expected to return to the site once they receive notification from the council. Elizabeth Mwengo, NBC News, Kachina Kachi.